Hello, Jermaine Jackman. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm good. Good stuff. It's gl I'm so glad to be here on Rame. Um, you know, this is my first time here in Bradford. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's a blessing to be able to sing my single and a couple of songs off my album. Right. We're here at um, Party on the Amp. Yes. Um, where did that name come up from? I remember seeing that name in my emails when I, when I was booked amp. for it. And I was just like... I was, I was like the amp is... Like, like, a, like an amp, like a, like a guitar amp? No, amphith amphitheater. It's like leveled thing on the grass outside oh like like what they have in wimbledon when they're doing the tape tennis i think Wait, so yeah yeah i yeah. saw it yeah, 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 yeah. so it's like a, it's a leveled off thing so there's different and tiers yeah yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. an amphitheater so it's amp party big party i like that i like that i'm gonna party with you guys you're gonna party later on ke maybe a little bit not much of a party well, I, I saw some some alcohol in that fridge back there i don't drink alcohol Neither do I. Okay. Neither do I. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to the interview. Sorry. Okay. So, um, your debut album is out now. How would you describe it? Um, I would describe it as everything that's me. You know, I poured my heart and my soul into this album. It really reflects who I am as an artist. Um, who I am as a person yes. and there's a message of hope that runs through the album if you listen to the songs and the lyrics and the meaning of all these songs in the album there's a it might be heartache or it might be through love or it might be through vengeance and anger but there's always a message of hope that yes. runs through all the all the songs and and that's something that I that's one of the emotions that I hold dear to myself hope yeah how will I know is your new single what was the inspiration behind it um how will I know Produced by Nick Southwood, I remember turning up and hearing the song. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this song, mm -hmm. um, and and then um, singing it. And while I was recording it, the final recording of it, because you do, you do, a number of recordings. So you make a yeah. demo of it, then you send it to the record label for them to hear it. And they're like, oh yeah, we like the song. Actually, record it. And as I was recording it, my granny was um, dying. She was oh dying no. from throat cancer, yeah. and I was full of emotion and everything. And and I just converted that emotion yeah. and portrayed that emotion through the song. Yeah. Um, and the song's basically saying, how will I know that you're really the one? You know, when you have those relationships where it's it's just a one way street type of relationship. You're taking her out. You're doing yeah. all all the cooking and the cleaning. You're you're um doing the traveling, paying for the tickets and paying for the cinema tickets and things. And she's just there soaking it up how, how uh, it's like it sounds to me yeah it sounds kind of mean but it's like how would i know if i take the plunge in for love will you do the same because i've come from all this right. history of all this bad experience of love and i don't want to do it again yeah but then there's a message of hope again saying yes. that I actually think you are the one because i feel different <laughs> this time this is a different kind of love okay um how long is it how has it been since winning the voice last year oh it's been a whirlwind you know um just been non-stop on the go um, up and down the country, um, I'm getting to meet great musicians, just like some of the musicians here um, and some of the singers here on, on this bill. Um, you got a band here from X Factor, and yeah. and and you know, you get to meet so many blessed musicians yes. and so many humble people along yeah. the way, and get to share that experience and those expertise with people. You know, there's Sam here from Kiss FM. You know, I got to meet him at yes. a previous event, and you get to build that network with people. Yeah, you do. And, and yeah. it's such a blessing. Exchanging business cards. Exactly. And you know, <laughs> this networking, networking people, networking is so important. Yes. So you're also a keen basketballer. How would you combine? Well, would you combine the well, singing with a basketball career? Well, I did a I played a basketball game two weeks ago. That was the first time in a long while. Okay. And nearly pulled up my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly died on court. Literally I was <laughs> I was struggling to run. There was a seven foot monster against me and I was just like <laughs> I was looking at the coach, I was like, Coach, take me off the court. <laughs> take me off the court. Yeah. I can't breathe. Um but no, I enjoy sport a lot. I yeah. enjoy basketball, football, cricket, um not so much rugby. Um, I think rugby's yeah. a bit too rough. Yeah. Um, um, and, and then obviously there's politics as well that I enjoy doing. Um, okay. But music really has a special place in my heart. Yeah. You know, music's the only thing that I think about when I wake up in the middle of the night. It's the melodies that's running through my head yeah. and the lyrics. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's really good. And I get my phone out, start recording it on my phone. Yeah. Um, you played at Hoops Aid, a basketball charity event. How did you do? Um, I lost. <laughs> I <Okay>. <laughs> long, uh, long story short, I lost because they, yeah. as I said before, there was a seven foot 
something monster yeah. who was just like I don't know if you can comprehend seven foot but it's huge he was massive I've never yeah. so like I'd a dinosaur really, I'd probably be really looking up because I'm five foot like six like I was looking up yeah. like to a point where I was breaking my neck to, to try oh. and speak to him okay. and he was just kept on blocking me so what I then tried to do was run between his legs because <laughs> he was so big and I was so fast and he, he didn't and he just tripped over me he's kept on tripping over himself um, but we still lost <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun you know right. who paid what who pays is all about it's about it, it's about giving back to the community giving back to charities and and helping those children from disadvantaged backgrounds who may be disabled yeah. as well to get that extra step into sports in their community and that's why we're doing it. it's for fun it's for charity yeah. and, and that's why we're doing it yeah, ooh, people are like oh you have to mean you lost i'm like guys this is for charity like why is everyone so serious <laughs> yeah i think i'll be i'll be i'll be serious when i win i'm like yeah in your face i won <laughs> and 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 yeah. then like, suppose it's, it's all about taking part. Yeah, it's the taking part that counts. That counts That's yeah. what the losers say. <laughs> 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 I was always oh, like, I, I, when I lost, I was like, you know, it's the taking part that counts. <laughs> artist in the music industry do you think it's still a challenge do you still think yeah so? you know you guys have been looking at my twitter a lot haven't you <laughs> <laughs> um no yes i did do a speech um a couple of um about a week and a half ago right. about black empowerment about inspiring yeah. young black artists not just young black artists but young people yeah. um inspiring them to become better become and, and making them realize their potential you know we yes. need those opportunities that young people can grasp and say oh my goodness i didn't realize i was so good at this and that yeah. and this and that um and and those are the opportunities that i'm fighting for in our country yes in our country I, i'm saying like, this is my this is my my, my mp pitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you working on your next single at all yes i got a second single coming out next month um, right. So keep your eyes peeled. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jermaine Jackman. I'm pretty sure you're gonna ask me to do that at the end of the interview anyway, but I'm just putting it in there beforehand. Yeah. Um, and you can check out my website www.jermainejackman.com for more details. All right. So, do, does the single have a name? Oh, is you that have to wait and good? see. You have to wait. You have to wait. Okay. You have to wait and see. Partly because I don't really know. I don't. Okay. But yeah, yeah. No, the <laughs> single has a name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and what are your plans for the rest? 2015 um live and learn and develop and grow um those are my plans those are those are the words that i'm holding dear to myself um because as i live i learn and as i learn i continue to develop and grow okay. i just made that up on the spot and i'm going to use that, that i really good. do that like quite that good. i really do like you like the camera woman shaking her head i like <laughs> that <laughs> All right. um so you're jeremy with on and you're you katie i don't know your last name what's your last name kate Beadle. It says on my card. But I'm Jermaine Jackman. You're Katie Beadle. Yes. Um, so on social media, you're at Jermaine Jackman. Mm -hmm. At Jermaine Jackman. Not with an E in the end. People get confused. They always put an E at the end of Jermaine. But it's J-E-R-M-A-I-N-J-A-C-K-M-A-N. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my website. Um, yeah, follow me. Right. And I follow back. I always follow back. I love following back right. people. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>